Okay, we are getting ready to, oh, we got a little penguin moving around up here. We're getting ready to go on a hike. Candy, where are we going? I have no Cibola idea. Cibola National Refuge. Okay. Yes. And it's a drive-through and a hike. And a hike. There's a, a one, mile, one mile walking hike. Um, it did not say how long the auto loop is. Okay. But it is an auto loop and it's the best viewing for wildlife, so. Okay, so we're gonna go do that. This is Candy. This is Carrie. An avid hiker, right? Yep, through hiker. And where have you been hiking? When I've I... done the Appalachian Trail twice from end to end. Did the Florida Trail in 2015 from end to end and did the PCT that same year. Wow. And there's Marcia. And Moo Moo, of course. The birthday Wait, girl. Who are we waiting for? Of course, we're waiting for Aja. <laughs> you had to ask. Okay, you? as soon as Aja gets in here, and we've got Chuck and Jeff in the other vehicle. So, as soon as Aja gets here, we will get on the road. It was, it was a leash. Sometimes you need to go. Take a step back to see the truth around you from a distance you can tell. here are called brittle bush. And then we've got a beaver tail cactus. Cactus. Huh. Learn something new every day. All right, we're at the visitor center here. They've got the desert trail wildlife viewing deck that you can go up here and check out. Oh, look at all the fields out here. I'm assuming that the tree line over here is where we're gonna go into. We're gonna do the uh, touring, uh, drive-through tour first. We're in there getting maps right now. Boy, it's pretty out here and look through the viewer oh and it's free you don't have to pay for that oh I would show you guys but I don't think you guys could see it's a nice walkway for uh, wheelchair accessible so that's always nice and this is something that everybody could do um, even if you are in a wheelchair because you could drive through so that's even nicer here's some information about the self-guided auto tour route is open for your pleasure from half hour before sunrise and a half hour after sunset every day oh i'll hold the door open for you you're welcome Ooh. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, there's little blue ones. Endangered desert uh, pupfish. Oh, <laughs> they're endangered little fish. Hey there. Oh, very cool. That must just be their filtration system. Oh, very cool. Oh. 
fossils. These fossils are petrified wood, were donated uh, by our friend's buck. Oh, this is something my mother would love. Look at this. My mother collects uh, all kinds of types of eggs. These are real ones, though, of course. Hers are ceramic and glass. And they're pretty cool. Yeah, and they like this. They like the stand there. Yeah, we have one whole area where there's mussels. Oh, needle frog. There's all kinds of neat things in here. Uh, yeah, it's a raccoon. Yeah. Wow. Seen a lot of these things out here. These are right outside of our camp. And they are the American Avocat? Avocat? She usually was too scared of it. She didn't like the rainmaker when you were doing that. Uh, fronted goose over there. Of course, our good old Canadian goose up back there. And my favorite, little mallard. I had a few of those in my days. Virginia rail. Uh, Bucklehead. Hey, they're pretty. An egret and a snow goose. Oh, there's some more in here. <laughs> we got some more. Little pelican. Boy, they've got a bill on them, don't they? No, it's, it's right next to a, a seed of some sort, a bean. Okay, what now? Oh. That was great blue heron. <laughs> and here's an egret. Oh, we've heard that, definitely. The other night we heard that. Oh, this is awesome. I know, it's a neat book. Okay, wait, we're going to go to 26. That's a cool book. Very neat. Wow. We're at number one. And Candy's already got something cool going on here. I don't know if that will pick that up or not. Oh, yeah, pretty. If I move it around, I think. Which one is this? Observation deck, site one. Okay. And then it goes to two, the desert soil. Oh, where did you get? Oh, do I have that? Maybe I have this. Oh, that's what this is. Okay. So did you see Oh, you got one? I got one. Yeah, thank you, Chuck. All right. So, site two is the desert. Uh, Soils. Site three. And... Okay, so site one observation deck. This is just a small little walk through. So we decided to do that first before we did the drive through. That almost stops me dead in my tracks right there. <laughs> but I know that they're not out right now. Well, they could be, right? Because it's hot today. It's too I mean, cold out yet. Like okay. So number two, they're looking at the desert soils. <laughs> we looked at that plenty. <laughs> Would you like to see some desert soil? <laughs> 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 mm. 
And mind you, it's winter here, so different in the summertime. Now, I don't know if this would be good for a wheelchair or not. Maybe one that has uh, big tires on it. It's, it's wide enough. Like a motorized one. And this is number three. Upland vegetation vegetation at what is it bench uh i will say i don't either so here at this bench where carrie is sitting we have vegetation to look at <laughs> say hello jeff <laughs> yeah yeah that does look like an old dried up riverbed doesn't it yep sure does So, same old stuff out here as what we kind of see when we're just walking through the desert. But it's nice and numbered for people to see things. <laughs> so next we're going to come up on a uh, honey mesquite. Wow, look at all those things. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. It's a rock on a rock. Yeah, but they probably used to, it either water used to drip in there or they've yeah, it's used an Indian it. Sink. <laughs> right? It's really a cool sink, really. Maybe it's a, a wash basin. Oh, there's some road quail, runners. Quail. Oh, is it quails? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there they go. Yep. Running, running. Uh oh. I thought it was a turtle. Is it? It is. Oh no, that's not good. A turtle. It's very sad. Oh, too bad. There was a turtle back there, Aja, but it was not alive anymore. Okay, number five, honey mesquite. <laughs> what? What's going on? Oh, listen. Oh, shh. Listen, listen. Candy. This is the honey mesquite. This is the honey mesquite. Yeah. So they're lying. No, I'm just they got they got babies oh, yeah. in here or something. I've seen the pods on this before. Okay. Yep. This is definitely it. The lady is accurate says the honey mesquite has a distinctive appearance. Two different types of mesquite inhabit the ecosystem. This tree grows fairly rapid up to 50 feet in areas where other trees can have forests. Oh, were you I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I thought you listen. were trying to get around I'm trying to me. listen. I'm trying to read without my glasses. Yeah. Um, it is a hardy plant lasting in drought conditions by drying water from the water table its uh, taproot system can descend to an estimated 190 feet underground. Wow. Wow. Cool. Wow. Yeah, maybe I'll read that. Yeah, I'm, now I got number six. What is number six? The desert, ready? desert willow. The Spanish called the desert willow mimbre because of its willow like appearance. The desert willow is a type of Benonia and is a native plant found in washes and riparian areas where soils are well drained. It produces a trumpet shaped flower that blooms from the spring into the fall. Okay, the bench. Yep, bench desert cotton. willow. Oh, the bench? Bench of cottonwood. Okay. The so bench this. of cottonwood. The cottonwood tree thrives in low-lying areas along the river. Beginning in the late 1800s, cottonwood forests were cleared as fuel for steamships traveling on the lower Colorado River. The seeds of the cottonwood are borne on cottony structures, which allow them to travel great distances before setting up to, settling to the ground. 
Among other uses, the cottonwood is a favorite among artisans as its wood is soft and easy to carve. Got a nice little marsh going on here. I wonder if the turtle came from here. Probably. Mm, it's a no? desert, desert tortoise. They don't oh. need, they need to drink, but I don't think they really live in the water. So. Oh. Okay. Oh, and those are um, endangered. Yeah, they were. They had a few in there in the. I don't, I don't see any. No, nope, no fish, guys. Pretty little pond, though. Maybe they're in the bushes. Up to 113. Water temperature 113. And a water saltier than two water. Whoa. What did it say? It's pupfish. Okay, your turn to read. Valley or in a hot spring that comes Pupfish facts. Desert pupfish are tough. They can survive the water in temperatures up to 113 degrees Fahrenheit and in water saltier than the seawater. Mm -hmm. The fish in this pond are descendants of fish taken from marshes near the town of El Doctor in Sonora, Mexico in the 1970s. You did that so good. <laughs> <laughs> Desert pupfish are a federal endangered species and an Arizona state species of special concern. During the spring and summer breeding seasons, the larger males turn indecent blue with yellow fins. Whoa. Desert pupfish eat small animals, such as mosquitoes, larvae, mosquito larvae, and plants. Mosquito fish and sunfish are examples of non-native fish that compete with the desert pupfish. That would be a pupfish. <laughs> Well, we saw one. We saw they're inside. They're inside the building, actually. Oh, they were yeah. too. And that's a salt bush. But is that on our? That's where they get salt. Is no. this on our map? No. Hmm. It's not on our map. Aja, did you see the salt bush? <laughs> I'm sure I've experienced salty bush in my life. Are you bad? Naughty. Is there something on that? There is. What is that? It's an S. There's an S in the rock right there. I see what you're seeing. Do you, if you come yeah, this see, way, it's see. right. It is an S. Yeah. Did somebody make an S or is it from a worm? Or just erosion? I don't know. I don't have my glasses on. Uh, am I, no, am that, I not seeing it right? Yeah, you're seeing it right, but I think it's from a worm or some kind of, there's a uh, Oh. Yeah, I don't, it's not a, it's not stenciled in there. Yeah. Huh, okay. Well, I'll just put it back in there so somebody else can enjoy it. Yeah. Because somebody else <laughs> can see it. I know. There's no doubt. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's an interesting rock. That is interesting. It looks like a... Like a geo? It looks like is a... It reminds me <laughs> like a little walnut or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. But is I wonder if that's like a geo. I'm not sure. Is that what they call them a ge uh gosh guys, I'm not really sure, but I think it's really interesting. Neat. Alright, we're gonna load up and go on the driving tour. This is called the goose loop, right? The goose loop? Boy, they did have some water come through there. Welcome to the Cornfield Nature Trail, where nature awaits you. 
Cornfield Nature Trail and Riparian Vegetation revegetation re site was constructed in 1999 as cooperative habitat project by Kibola, is it Kibola? Cibola, Nash thank you. National Wildlife Refuge and the Bureau of Reclamation for the Endangered Southwest Willow Flycatcher and Other Wildlife. Okay. You can slow that down and read it if you want. Put it in Spanish for you. you need that. So, we are right here. We're going to walk around the area here. Got a bridge, platform. And the waterfowl viewing pond. Well, there's a trail that way. It's beautiful down there. I'm going to have to turn you guys on and off because I've got to conserve my battery. I've got 30% left in the GoPro. So, I'll show you guys the most interesting things that I can find on our walk. Coming around the bin, I've got a platform up here. I feel like I should be seeing a giraffe over there or something. <laughs> Last year when we were out here, this was all full, full of birds. And that pond that we went by up here, that was full of water, full of birds. Oh, wow. So they've, they've gone on. Okay, yeah. So this is a migratory stop off. So they probably kept going to Mexico or South America. But the only reason for having this place here is for the birds. They planted all these trees and all those fields of hay. When he came in, he saw all that hay that's up there. Yeah. The farmers come in and do it, but it's mainly they leave it for the birds. Well, huh. and it says right there that uh, there's damsels that are no longer right here. Nope. So Chuck was saying that was all full last year. Last last year, or the last time you were here. I'm going. You want to give us your thoughts on the home? Now, just because Aj and I both have GoPros going doesn't mean that you won't see stuff on her channel that you don't see on mine and stuff on mine that you won't see on hers. Different perspectives. That's right. Different perspectives. <laughs> it's a beautiful walk. It's gorgeous out here. It does remind me of fall. Though. I know. And with it sounds like fall. And now with the rustling leaves. Uh, my favorite sound other than um, a river running. It's pretty with all the leaves coming out of the trees too. Yeah. It's like little pieces of gold floating out in the out of the uh, canopy. Okay, and this trail, I think if you had a power, power scooter, um, you probably would be fine. There's no hills, it's flat. There are pebbles, but not anything big. Another you know, box back there, right? Yes. Okay. I was just making sure I don't 
get eaten by a bobcat. If I ain't got to worry about the snakes, I got to worry about the bobcats. They're probably scared of us. Oh, yeah. We've got bobcats at home. Oh, that's a big one that came down. Oh, the whole side of it. Wow. Poor thing. All right, we've made it to the end. It's one mile. Pretty darn easy, nice and flat. Just about anybody could do it. Hmm, kinda looks pink. With the pink quartz, pretty. All right, let's go find out what we're gonna go to next. That doesn't mean that, but she said now down this road a little bit, there's a little piece of wood sticking up, and there's usually one sitting on it. What are we talking about? Okay, and the there's owls. a piece of wood We're coming out. up oh, in front of you, um, Terry. Yeah, but I don't see any owl on that. No, I see a plane. I see a little tiny bird. But they're not there. The, the owl? Very, That's the burnout, okay. They're very small. Okay, that is not an owl. Okay, here, let's see. Sweet candy. Here we go, stop, stop, stop. Okay, a little there. Okay, burrowing owls. Distinguished by its long legs, the burrowing owl is a ground dweller. This bodily spotted and barred, barred bird. bird inhabits grasslands and prairies, but can also be seen near golf courses and airports. The burrowing owl feeds primarily on large insects and small animals. If disturbed in its nest, this territorial creature will often imitate the sound of a rattlesnake in order to scare away the unwanted guests. Oh, well that would scare me off. Well, but here's their <laughs> nest right here. Right? I have my glasses in my hands. Right here on the right. See them? There. Oh! Oh, okay. So those are the nests. They get inside those, huh? Yes, I'm going to have a cemetery. <laughs> I'm not quite sure nearby that's too. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Oh, I heard them. It's the, it's the, did you hear it? It's the family cemetery. Did you hear them in there? I did. Okay, so they... These little... There's more. Yeah, but yeah, okay. more of them. Everybody be quiet. <laughs> Thank you for at least giving fire. us something. <laughs> okay, I guess we're not going to see the owls, but that was interesting. Never saw that, was hilarious. that before. I've never seen something like that. Either. Yeah, I had no idea. Have them right Thank you for reading that my for house. my viewers. Yes. My glasses were in my hand. Oh, there's some more coming up. Oh. We knew you were struggling. <laughs> oh, stop. Stop, stop, stop. He, yep, there's two of them. I see them. Okay, one, two, yeah. three, four. The fourth cross. Yep. There are two of them sitting there. There they go. There's one just sitting right there right one now. One flew off. There's still one sitting there, see him? Yep, he's right. just, yep. the end of our tour. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Candy. <laughs> Thank you for driving. And I think we all had a good time and we got to see the owl. That was pretty cool. Owls. So, you get out this way, come do this. This is a lot of fun. It's very entertaining and very educational. So, we'll see you guys another day.